To be certain that what you have in front of you is a Larix decidua, look for the following characteristics. Typically a red-brown or yellow-brown bark breaking into long, wide vertical plates, relatively shallow fissured. The male flowers of this monoecious species are pale yellow in colour. The female flowers born on the same tree have a strong pinky to red blush to their cone scales. These then develop into the woody cones of Larix decidua and for this particular species the cones are born relatively erect, are rather long and the cone scales remain flat against the body of the cone as opposed to those of Larix camphorae or Larix crossmarsh lindsay where the cone scales will often recurve back out forming a more rounded shape to the cone. The spray consists of light green foliage born in whorls on second year and older growth and on new growth born as separate individual rather soft needles. The, uh, the twig, distinctive with Larix decidua, is a pale yellow tan brown colour. And here on this close-up photo one can see the difference between the world needles of the old growth and the individual needles of the new extension from this year. Form of the tree when young to semi-mature is typically conic, upright, normally with one stem. Uh, older specimens will sometimes show two or three heavy side branches to them as they develop. And the winter bud of this deciduous conifer, alternate, red-brown, typically doned on a slight raised spur away from the light, pale brown twig.